One of the major events that we've been involved in this year is fighting the election fraud that took place uh, during the last federal election. And the reason that this matters is, is that this is the very heart of democracy. If we're not able to trust that Elections Canada and the government of the day is running a fair and honest election, then what does everything else mean? How do we know that every other decision that's made by a government isn't based on a faulty foundation? How can you assume that anything else they do and any other legislation they pass has any validity? I am really, really pleased that we supported these applicants. They're brave, um, they're farsighted, they care deeply about the next generation, they care deeply about democracy, um, and this was just a very important thing for the Council of Canadians to take a stand on. This uh, election fraud uh, work that we're doing is part of a larger process of pulling together a more common front, a kind of a group that, uh, of common causes um, from people who are worried about the Harper agenda from a whole variety of reasons, whether it's the destruction of environmental tools and laws, um, to our change in foreign policy, to the support of terrible things Canadian mining companies are doing in other countries, to a war on workers and, and human rights here in Canada, to the way they treat refugees and immigrants, uh, to assault on our health care, no matter which way you come at it. We are seeing a tremendous change in this country as the Harper government uh, transforms Canada to fit with a vision that Harper has had many years is a long time before he was Prime Minister. Many, many communities, many organizations, many sectors are deeply concerned, but we're concerned in separate silos, and we really believe it's important to come together and put our causes together into a common causes uh, reference and framework, and we're building a network that is going to serve us all very, very well over the next few years.